वेलकम टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विथ फ्लो लेट स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर फाइव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेरिएशन राइट इन दिस चैप्टर वॉट वी डिस्कस अबाउट जीन्स एंड वेरिएशन राइस योर मदर एंड फादर ही इज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट साइड एंड शी इज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट साइड एंड यू आर द मिक्सचर ऑफ योर मदर एंड फादर्स जीन्स सम गुड एंड बैड करेक्टर्स कम फ्रॉम योर मदर साइड सम गुड एंड बैड करेक्टर्स कम फ्रॉम योर फादर साइड बट यू हैव बोथ साइड्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स मीन्स यू गेट वेरिएशन यू हैव डिफरेंट फीचर्स या यू हैव योर मदर फीचर्स ऑल्सो योर फादर फीचर्स ऑल्सो बट दे आर अ मिक्सचर ऑफ फीचर्स यू हैव मोर एडवांस कंपेयर दैन योर पेरेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी टोटली रिलाई ऑन जेनेटिक्स एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मैंडल्स लॉ ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ वन जीन टू जीन्स एंड सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन वॉट इज म्यूटेशन एंड जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर ओके दैट्स बिगिन विद मैंडल्स लॉ मैंडल वॉट ही टिट ही गिव लॉ ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ही टेक पी प्लांट विथ सेवन टू एट कैरेक्टर्स पी प्लांट इज ईजीली अवेलेबल दिस इज द एनुअल प्लांट वी एनी वन कैन स्टडी एट अ वेरी लेस टाइम सो ही टेक पी प्लांट ओके नाउ ही काउंट ही कैलकुलेट सम कैरेक्टर्स लाइक ही टेक पी प्लांट ही टेक सीड शेप दैट सीड इज राउंड और विंकल्ड ही टेक सीड कलर कैरेक्टर्स दैट सीड इज येलो और ग्रीन फ्लावर कलर पॉड शेप पॉड कलर फ्लावर पोजिशन एंड स्टेम हाइट दैट दिस इज इट टॉल की शॉर्ट ही टेक दीज कैरेक्टर एंड क्रॉस बिटवीन दैम and give their ratio according to genotype and phenotype genotype means gene level characters phenotype means their outer appearance characters means if i let's draw a cross i take tall and dwarf first of all he justify that which characters are dominant and which characters are recessive dominant characters are those characters who show they are present in each generation and recessive characters are those character he can't show they are present with the presence of dominant characters if dominant are present now they can't express their self but dominant always they show their presence in the stem height character tall is dominant and dwarf is recessive they always express their self but they are express yourself but in the absence of dominant characters okay let me indicate tall and dwarf i am indicating tall character with capital t capital t and recessive character with small t small t now let's begin with their cross after crossing what i found that this kind of offspring i get so how i calculate genotypic characters and phenotypic ratio guys genotypic ratio is what that they have one gene is tall and one gene is means one allele is one allele is tall and one allele is let's say one allele is tall one allele is dwarf but if i watch from the outer side so this is the dominant character is present so all plant look like they are tall outer side if i saw na these plant they are tall in appearance but inside they have dwarf allele also clear this thing look at here this is the seven character who taken by mendel sir okay look at here they labeled a flower like these are the petals this is the stigma part means stigma part is what for this is the female sex organ stigma style and here is ovary anther stamen carpal means this is the male and this is the female part and here what they do removal of anther means okay okay wait wait 
emasculation removal of anther emasculation they remove male part so this flower is convert into only 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 female and now what we do now what mendel will do they pollinate they pollinate this flower with different color of flower this is the purple flower but we remove all anther and we take white flower and their pollen grain we transfer to the purple and now this kind of progeny we get means purple color flower found in all offspring let's assume purple flower is dominant i am indicating by capital p capital p and white color flower let me indicate it by small p and small p so there is two parents let's cross when i cross this thing na i found this type of ratio but if i watch outer side then all offspring is purple in color because this character is dominant here if i draw this thing na it means they are white if i draw this thing na it means they are purple if i draw this thing na it means they are also purple so this is the how one gene will inherit it they can't show their self in the presence of dominant thing let's take another cross this is the what capital t capital t small t small t if i cross this thing na so all of spring all of spring is like in this manner let me cross with this thing capital t small t capital t small t now i get tall 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 but one drop how guys i am crossing here this is the male, female this is the male okay let's cross okay tall okay tall okay tall now this is the dwarf these are the tall and this is the dwarf three ratio one now if i take like purple flower and white flower let me cross all progeny in purple okay let's do and let's take cross between them let's cross between them now what i found purple again purple again purple now white flower and these are purple flower okay now this recessive character is appear okay let's take another thing okay we take with height we take with flower color okay let's take with seed shape like if they are round i indicate here capital r capital r if wrinkled okay this is the dominant character this is the recessive character this is the assume this is the female and this is the male you can exchange you can also assume this is uh, male and this is the female okay let's cross all progeny all progeny i get all progeny i get rounded seat all progeny i get with rounded seat let's take these two characters capital r small r capital r small r okay now let's cross with these things okay round seat again round seat no matter this is present but this is present now so this is the dominant character again this is the round seat now guys this is the wrinkled i think now you betterly understand with these crosses this is the checkerboard you have to draw this checkerboard in your examination like take a one dominant character and one recessive character you have to draw and you have to get all progeny in this manner in this manner in next generation we cross with these these things and we get three is different and one is different if we take genotypic characters one is to two is to one let me show you wait let me show you guys as you when we get this thing we draw a checkerboard and we get all is all are rounded but if i draw another next cross it i get one pure tall i get these two mixture of tall oh sorry round and this is the pure wrinkled so one is to two is to one this is the genotypic inside ratio and if i take phenotypic ratio so these three are rounded and one is wrinkled okay okay these are the formula okay don't be confused don't be panic okay okay which is there anything else okay guys mendel's law we will discuss in our next video including incomplete dominance okay so we will discuss in our next video we will meet on our next video thank you that's all for now thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe my channel adhin with flow thank you